Welcome back everyone to the HWBot World Series 2016. I'm Proofman from Overclicking TV and I will be commenting this final match between Extreme Addict and Azan with my dear friend here, Ligoft. How are you doing, my friend? This is the final one, man. 30 minutes to go. Then we're done. That's going to be extremely, extremely high level here by the Overclocker that uh, want to be displayed their skill on the stage. Let's tune into our judge for the benchmark draw. Okay, so let's draw the first one. Memory single channel. Hazan Vito. That's good. Next one is XTU 4G. Vito from <laughs> Extreme Addict. So it's going to be W Prime 1024. Full out. I think they want to run Cinebench. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad for them, they used the two Vito uh, <laughs> for the benchmark. They will have to use W Prime 120 megabit. Yeah, I was talking to both of them and they really didn't want to do like the low clock challenge. Starting 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good luck. Yeah, we're off. W Prime 1024. Well, Completely processor benchmark this time, improvement. Memory is not that important. And just this is not a favorite benchmark for both of these overclockers. They look at each other like, no, I don't want it. Yeah, me neither. But that's the game, guys. You veto, you used your veto for another benchmark. So you have to deal with it now. Huh? Indeed, uh, both uh, cooling down now. Hazan is working on the MSI platform and uh, Extreme Addict on the Gigabyte X99 SoC champion board. So both, in fact, normally related to, to, to using Asus hardware a lot. And now they have to bench on the other vendors board. The name of the game, they qualified on that particular day. So, uh, yeah, really two solid benchers here on stage and uh, going for that final golden ticket to go of to be flown into Berlin to go to claim the world champion title of the HWBOT World Tour Series. Indeed, and the winner of this match will go back home with 1,000 USD extra in his pocket. Yeah, and they're just trying to see if the benchmark runs, so they need to run the big one, not the 32M, I think. 1,024 is it that we need to have. So it'll take a little longer than 2.48 seconds, which is like really impressive. And I think we already saw scores on that one of sub two seconds. So what they will be doing here is they try to overclock to do extreme overclocking. They want to push as much as they can the system they have. They are using the Intel Core i7 6950X CPU. And this one will be clocked around 5 GHz, 5.2 GHz. That's the uh, frequency we can expect to see today. Yeah, and I think XA will go die hard again. I think it will be probably be over 5.2 again for this benchmark. But they really need to control the load now this time. It's, it's not only about just uh, doing some, some quick test. It takes a little bit longer to run. I think it's over 50 seconds, I think, that 1024 that they need to run. So as I'm just checking that everything is running fine before he cools down way more. As you can see, they are using liquid nitrogen. This is negative 200 C. This is super, super, super cold. And they're using it to cool down the computer because when you do overclocking, you basically increase the frequency of your uh, comp computer components. And when you increase that frequency of working, you end up creating more heat or having your CPU that is running higher in temperature. What you want to do is to remove that limit and you cool it down as much as you can. Indeed, and uh, if you compare the stock speed of 3,500 megahertz, we're like way over that 5,200-ish is the thing that I'm expecting at 1.6 volts, probably at minus 100-ish. Memory is not this important for this benchmark, so they can maybe rule that one out and just focus on raw, raw, raw processor frequencies. But both using the Kingpin pot and uh, needing a little bit more time to just cool down, reach the, the right temperature, and once the pot is there, it, it remains rock stable. So, Xtrematic is using the Venom pot, while actually Azan is using the F1. So they are both from the same manufacturers, Kingpin Cooling, but 
they are not exactly the same version. They both actually behave differently. So uh, in the in the match before in the amateur, we had people using air, uh, water cooling, all-in-one water cooling, and that's specifically tailored to what you guys can use at home or here if you are at the trade show. And if you want to do extreme overclocking, you can use these extreme cooling gears. Uh, Kingpin Cooling is one of the company doing them. We have uh, Derbauer ECC as well, uh, one of the uh, manufacturers of this kind of cooling in Germany. Indeed, and as Spot, like I said, had that the principle that it can pull down really, really, really quick. So we have seen scores during that final or that semi-final, sorry, a little bit earlier. Minutes. So here we go. We have 26 minutes in uh, left in the game, and XA is running the first benchmark of 1024M for W Prime. And I thought the CPU speed was around 5,150-ish, so uh, he's, he's probably assuming this is a safe clock because he could reach almost 5.3 on, on the physics test. So W Prime a little bit different, working indeed really on the cores, stressing the 20 cores that, that are available. In fact, 10 real cores and uh, 20 logical hyper-threaded ones. Not that interesting to watch this benchmark. There's not that much going on besides the calculation, but you see it doesn't take that much time. We should reach around uh, the 50 second mark and then the, the benchmark should be over. This benchmark has haven't no, have not been used yet in the AWBot World Series it's so far. It's 51, 441. Indeed, and this, this might be a question of milliseconds finally to to claim the, the the golden ticket to go to Berlin, so it could be could be really tight again. They dialing in and Azan setting the core thread to 20. Let us know who you are rooting for. Is this uh, Azan or Extreme Addict? The easiest way for you to uh, claim who you are rooting for and is to type the command Ruffle and the name of your favorite overclocker. We are awarding one of the remaining Zadak 511 SSD 250 gigs, and we will make it signed by the winner. If you win that one, you can just go on the live chat and queue in the common ruffle and your name of your overclockers competing today in the final of the HWBot World Series 2016 Asia. Indeed, and, uh, Hazan trying a 5000 megahertz run. XA is still already pumping up to 5200-ish plus, so he's really going going hard. And I will miss really credit that the, the, these motherboards and even the CPUs, of course, are really well built, really durable. They have like been benching on on these platforms like the entire week even the power supplies we didn't have like one power supply that went down from c sonic so all is good it's a magic 50.157 so, so the goal in W Prime is to be the fastest to calculate uh, the, the the calculation in there, and of course that's going to be uh, expressed in seconds. The, the the faster you get, so the lower the seconds you are. Yeah, and Hassan still uh, trying to, to 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 dial it in and get it done. He's doing this run now, and let's see if he can come close to XA, but I think he leads a little bit more megahertz. XA close to 5.3 gigahertz again, 1.55 V core. XA really found a way to bench the CPUs. Like we said before, we were the CPUs were like pre-bent, and we had like a few good ones that did like five, one, two ish in the beginning. But yeah, he found a way to 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 unlock another 100 megahertz for free. So Azan is at 86 percent complete in the benchmark. See, he needs he needs at least a 200 megahertz higher Azan to reach. 52.924. 924 versus 51.5 seconds. So this is all a matter of, of of seconds, and hopefully in the end it will be really really more close than what it's present at because two seconds in it in w prime is like really a lot normally this is one of the benchmarks that overclockers still want to run in windows xp probably some guys at twitch will probably fall off their chairs when we mention windows xp XA 50 point 113 so XA is still improving his core, and yeah, there's for all the benchmark you have a certain load and a certain requirement that you need, and some people like to use a certain operating system as well, some version 32 bits, 64 bits, XP, Windows 10, Windows 7. They all have their preferences in uh, in this game. Indeed, and that's one of the things with overclocking it. It has become really so competitive, in fact, that you you really have to find out which benchmark is suited for which platform can be 32 bit can be 64 bit do i need to install a service pack yes or no do i need to have a special java driver or something that really takes some 
some dodging in to, to, to get like the highest performance available. So 52.72. So Azan is improving his score from what he had just before. He will uh, go back into the settings and try to go above 5 gigahertz that he is today. So what he's doing now is testing the maximum uh, frequency of his CPU. Once he's gonna know this one, it will tune a little bit for the ring ratio, and I guess after that he will try to play with the uh, with, with the PCLK with the base clock. Yeah, they, they they really want to have the the best frequency of the CPU available. Like I said, memory it does not really that matter that much for 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 W Prime, but they had it set it up anyways because they had to be ready for any benchmark. If it included memory then it, it would be nice, but now they can really focus just on finding the maximum frequency for their platform, in fact. Don't forget, guys, that we are awarding one of the uh, SSD from Z Zadak 511. We can just go on the live chat and type the command raffle with the name of your favorite overclocker competing today in the final. Is this Azan from Indonesia or is Stream Addict from Poland? They don't need to pick the winner, Truthman. They can just... No. And any minutes. of them. Any of them. You're being too kind this time. Softened up. So as you can see, they're using liquid nitrogen. They These guys know exactly how to use liquid nitrogen and use it safely. Indeed, they have been playing playing a lot. And, and each time before this event, we have normally like an LN2 tutorial eh, that you're giving. And that you get like an LN2 certificate. So uh, normally they are well briefed of what can be done what can't be done because uh, it indeed if you use this this liquid nitrogen it, it draws away the oxygen from the air if you bench like in a really really tiny space with not no ventilation yeah you run out of oxygen at the moment and you could faint so uh, here in this venue it's absolutely no problem because we have uh, been so well. much space so much space indeed uh, data has really provided us a nice boot a ah, little bit better, a little improvement for Nazan, so almost nibbling Nazan, off one 51, second. 656. 51, 656, so indeed coming closer, but he needs 100 megahertz, at least more. XA 50.08. XA, so indeed almost. Very rich. impressive improvement by XA. XA is going strong on this one. He, he, he is really, he's already on the strap 125, and Azan is still on the strap 100. So, what is the difference in the strap, League of? Well, the thing is with with, with the, the strap, you either have 100 strap, 125, 166, but with the strap, you, you can get access to other memory dividers. Now, I've been using the Gigabyte board on Haswell E, and it was in fact mandatory to use 125 strap. Otherwise, you could have not, let's say, the, the best memory divider available. And probably that's why XA also set up the board like this. If you had to do maybe 32M, maybe XTU. Oh, blue screen! We got the first blue screen of this final of the HWBot World Series 2016 Asia. The first blue screen from Extreme Addict. When there's a blue screen, that Azan means they are way too close to the edge. So Azan slowly improving, XA crashing, trying to get the system booting it again. So XA was already like 5,300 megahertz, like really impressive speed. And Azan is now slowly finding the max of the CPU. He really needs to find out, can it do 5.2, can't I? And he says maybe prefers to be in the system, but he really needs to be that time. He really needs to get the frequency up. You can see he's at uh, 5,150 megahertz, uh, while just before crashing, XA was at 5,325 megahertz. So there's a, a, almost 200 megahertz difference in between them. So that will for sure impact on the score because um, you can tune in the memory, you can tune all of these settings, but at this level, the, the slight amount of difference will make a difference in the score. It, also, when we like overclock a graphics cards, it's like sometimes you have to lower 5 megahertz and then it completes the benchmark stable, otherwise it would crash. And it's the same with these brothel eCPUs. At a certain moment, you will reach like a max frequency. If you have found that one, you can maybe tweak something else. But now it's, yeah, it's this, this benchmark is all about CPU power. You really need to find the limit. So the run almost completed for Hazan. Let's see if he can... 51 seconds flat. Hazan, he's getting close. So he's Slightly, coming, uh... slowly, but surely going and improving his core. Uh, this is uh, Hazan, closing no in. technique. He's closing in, so a little bit more than one second and a half. 
one second, sorry, away from uh, from extreme addict. And the thing is with W Prime, if you sometimes you get like a, a better run because the the screen here, the screenshot that you see in the benchmark, it refreshes and sometimes it gives like a blank screen and then it pops up a little bit better score. But you cannot predict it. Sometimes it usually runs seven, eight, nine, ten. But you have to keep the system stable, of course, to get that super run out. 74% completed for Hassan. XA again in the setup. Probably trying to cool down, get the right temperature, and then launch the benchmark. And he's off. Hassan almost completed. Still the same score. This is also fun about W Prime. It always keeps the best score. As long as you don't crash, your best score is there. Oh, I guess we had a crash from XA. Yeah. He already has a run at 5. 5,300 megahertz, so there's no 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 point in rebenching that again. He still tries to manage to get like maybe 5,320 going now, or even 5,315, it all depends. If it runs, if it completes, he's fine. We are 15 minutes into that game. This is half way through this final of the HWS 2016 Asia. These guys are competing today for 1,000 USD in cash price and one of the last two remaining tickets for the HW Bot World Championship to be held at the end of the year in Germany. Yeah, and I think this is really XA's platform, Broadwell E. He was not that successful with Skylake, I think, because he missed a few a few qualifiers and online events due to that. And maybe he found his new his new love. He had a lot of luck with Haswell and, and the other platforms before. Fifteen it's, minutes. So halfway, official call by the judge. Hazan trying to get like more than five thousand two hundred ish done. Now they start to tweak indeed inside the platform. Maybe they can also close the XTU service, which is eating up a little bit of resources. Fifty-one, one forty-seven 147 for Hazan versus a monster scored by XA at almost over 5.3 gigahertz. 50 seconds, 08 milliseconds. Really impressive score. But we're seeing 5,334, sorry, megahertz for XA. He's going to try to get that run. A little bit more volts, maybe a little bit more cold. See if he can pull it off. The two overclockers today are using the Intel Core i7-6950X CPU, the newly launched Broadwell eCPU that was just uh, uh, launched on the market four days ago. Yeah, it's really a 10-core CPU, 20 hyper-threading. It's like, wow, mind-blowing performance. So XA is, is just crashed, yeah, almost 10% done, but it's not enough, so he needs Hazan, to figure out. 50.608. So as Han closing in slowly but steadily, so just cranking up and continuing to, to let the system run and, and just find a good way. But yeah, he, he really needs them last megahertz to come even close to XA. Doesn't see much, in fact, if you just just look at the, the, the times, the lower the time, the better. But yeah, find over... This is, five, this is so close, man. That's like, like alpha, alpha seconds, basically. A half a second is like between number one and... In the ladder board, it's like between number one and number 40. So they, all the times at, at HW bot are so, so, so close. It's all about, like I said, even about milliseconds. See if Hazan can pull it off and, and find those last megahertz out. It's going to squeeze them out of this CPU, yes or no? That's the question. Five, six, or eight, exactly the same score that you just had before. You have to dial in the settings. He's now at 5.2 gigahertz, so this is this is okay. This is getting on the way, but he still have to you know to play with the with the last settings to to try to catch up on the almost 5.3 gigahertz CPU of Extreme Addict. So he's coming close now. This is 5,250 now. So he changed the reference clock, the base clock, one multiplier, uh, one megahertz, so that multiplied by 52 adds another 52 megahertz to the final speed. And it seems stable. It seems really stable. So maybe he can, yeah. Maybe we will see in Hazan in Berlin. That would also be a long trip for him, I think. Over halfway in the benchmark. Looking good. It's still running. It's still 12 running. minutes. 12 minutes to go. 50 seconds, 6 or 8 milliseconds for Hazan. 50 seconds. 80 milliseconds for XA. And Hazan has almost almost finished the benchmark. Should be something about 52. 
50.2. Oh, oh, so close, 50. my God. So close. Now we're getting. This we're is talking. extremely close. This, this is getting super close. This is the. This is what happening. This is what is happening when these guys are competing together. This is the highest level of competition you can get. This is the HW Bot World Series here in Asia. These guys have been competing on the top ranking for the past few years, and they usually fight each other out in these benchmarks. Yeah, they're, they're both. Oh, and we got a blue screen on Extreme Addict's side. The blue screen means that it was very. Too too close from the from the limit. Yeah, and Hazana still running, and really the setup looks really 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 stable. So I think he still has got some mileage left here. And like I said, sometimes a run and rerun, and it can just pop up at a far better score. And there's really not much left here. Oh, look at that! Eleven milliseconds Ooh, difference. Hazan fifty zero ninety one. This is so close. We have to speak in terms of milliseconds now to differentiate these guys. Ten milliseconds apart. Yeah, man, this is like, oh, so close now. 11 milliseconds. Can this change by just rerunning the system? Yeah, that, that that could be it. That just could be it. Now he just tries to get that little bit more CPU speed. It's only like 25 megahertz that he's pulling extra now or asking from the processor. So if he can pull this one off, this could be the run. 10 minutes. And his setup is like super stable. It hasn't like crashed once. He just went up. That is very impressive from Azan. He's building bit by bit, not pushing too hard and running into issues. And he, he's improving his course step by step. And will, he will know exactly when the system will become unstable, maybe because of the temperature or because of the settings he used. We're getting closer in the run, almost 70% done. Let's see if we get something better than 50 seconds and 80 milliseconds. This is really fun to commentate on as well. There's like there's this is a fierce competition. There there's no no room for error here. So let's see the score from Azan. Oh! Azan is taking the lead 10 minutes before the end of this SWS 26 in Asia final here in the Computex Taipei. This is an impressive score and he's not stopping. He's just continuing and benching. Yeah, it's like I said, his setup is like looking really stable, and I think he can maybe squeeze out a little more, but. That, he, he just wants to think like this is a stable frequency. Let's do a run, rerun, and maybe I get even get that better score coming out. If, if I spot it on on the screen, I will tell you like this is what happens. At a certain moment, it will just refresh completely, and it will give you like uh, maybe one or two tenths of a second uh, improvement. Sadly, on the other side of the room, Extreme Addict is struggling with his system. Uh, he tried to run one of the benchmark at the almost the same frequency that before, and he hanged up in the first ten percent of the score. You saw the refresh at a yep. certain moment. Let's see if this uh, boosts the performance even more. Oh! Hazan 49.911. This is impressive. This is impressive by Hazan. He will keep on pushing a little bit more the system. To it's just yeah. like pushing. Yeah, give it like... seven five. Give it, give it maybe one or two. I don't know. He's like really, 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 really doing. Ah, it locked up now maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. That was it. Maybe maybe it went too cold because maybe just poured in some LN2 and it went straight to cold. So it could be that he has a cold bug now that the system just locks up. So that happened when the, the it's either too cold or not stable. Um, and when it's too cold, the CPU can just lock. Actually, the CPU, like any component, can just hang up when it's too cold. Yeah, that's something that we really have to monitor. And Eight I'm, minutes. I'm, in fact, these brothel E's are like really stable, but it could be that he just poured in some LN2 and then went to idle status, the CPU. So it, it dropped maybe like 10, 15 degrees, way colder and... That could have, yeah, might have been just too much. And then the thing is to get the setup booting again. Could be that he needs to heat up again to minus 70, minus 80-ish before the platform even wants to boot. But XA is, in, is back in the race now. He's not giving in. He, he will continue till the final second. Don't worry about that. He will try to, to get that score. But everything has to be right. If he could run at 5.3, it should be good enough, now. Did. And he did it before, so hopefully his setup can do it again to maybe give us a close race to Hazan. Leading now 49-9-11 versus 50 0 oh, Here we are back in the system. Uh, they have to adjust the trade count. So the trade count on W Prime is usually the number of thread you want the, uh, the load to be spread uh, across. And these... Um, this correspond to the number of logical core that you can have on this uh, 6950 XCPU from Intel. 
Well, you see, XA on the right to dark, he was like reducing the screen and he wants to have this refresh a little bit earlier. Sometimes it happened if you reduce the screen that it will get this special refresh and you get maybe that, that little extra. So this is the special technique by the extreme guys to win, uh, to, to win just a little bit of milliseconds. There's some console command that I know as well that it even doesn't, does not display this. It just gives out the score. You, show, you almost see nothing running and, and yeah, but I can't give that one away. You have to become an HWBot administrator to, <laughs> to have access to that. Some tweaks need to be remain secret. Nothing we can do about it. So really looking forward to the output of XA. It's almost finished. XA 49657. Oh, look at that. Look this at that. This is a massive score. Massive score by XA taking back the lead in this final just six minutes before the end. I told you he would be back. He's not like he has the he has the fastest CPU. Has on crashed at 5,280 ish, something like that. And XA has like that 20, 30 megahertz advantage. And like I said, this 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 is what what it takes to win here to get that final golden ticket for Berlin. 49,657. Really, really impressive score. You can see the overclockers usually go into uh, the task manager to set the priority of the benchmark to uh, make sure that they they will run in priority against all the other benchmark in the system. Time cooling down before he's going to launch the benchmark. XA crashed. But it's just close. You see it's, it's on the verge of stability there. He can still move the mouse and I think now it completely froze. Oh, blue screen! We had a blue screen from XA once again. Another one coming up. Look and, at on your left. Look at your left. Word for it. Word. Blue screen! From Azan this time. XA could care less. He's in the lead now. He is still less than five minutes to go. And Hazan needs to find like three tenths of a second. Not that much. But for W Prime, it, it's really the difference between... Being number one or being number 40. It's it's so close, that benchmark. But impressive display by both comp opponents. Really, really die-hard, extreme benching. This this is Four extremely minutes. tight. This is extremely tight. This is super uh, super high hand of a game now. They are both using liquid nitrogen. They are both so close in the score. They are both at the edge of the system. They are all using the latest uh, Intel CPU, the 6950X Core i7, and they are all using the same PSU as well, the the P6 760 watt. They are all using the same DDR4 memory from uh, Zadak 511 and the same SSD from Zadak 11 as well. And you see as well, Hazan is like his way to, to enter the system. Go into the system, launch W Prime, then open the task manager, put priority to high, and then he starts dialing it in. And look, these guys know the settings. You you see that they they know exactly what to do. And really, still surprised that they don't save like a profile, something that has been working before to gain maybe even a few vital seconds to nail it. XA waiting for the final, and he's starting his run and reducing again. Look. Apply. Minimizing the display, and it and it crashed. crashed. It crashed. Uh, the screen from XA just crashed. This means we're gonna have a blue screen quite soon. Oh, oh he's kidding. The phone. He doesn't want us to yell at the screen. He just reset the system Three straight minutes. away. Maybe you can shout black screen next time. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, we have the last three minutes of this final of the HWBOT World Series 2016 Asia. The competitors here are fighting for 1,000 US dollars in cash prize and one of the last two remaining tickets for the HWBOT World Championship to happen in Germany at the end of this year. Yeah, I think this is one of the, uh, the biggest events, I think, to, to, to go into a final. Normally we have like these online competitions from each region and now HWBOT visit like seven different continents. like. Insane stuff, in fact, and just get the best blue screen. Azan was pushing it way too far. It was at 5,250 megahertz on the CPU, and you know, sometimes they push it a little bit too high, and that's last last milliseconds they want to to get out. Just that's, end up with the blue screen. That's what it's all about. It's it's not like uh, they just want to make sure indeed that it runs. Every little megahertz counts, you can see it. 
So still 49-9-11 versus 49-6-5-7. Substantial lead for Rixé and, and uh, I don't know, Hazana needs to figure out if he can run like close to 5.3. That's really what he needs to, to, to be competitive now. He had like a really efficient run in fact for 5,250. In fact, this benchmark indeed is this old truth that it was still used for only for single core. So it goes back a way back a long time. In fact, W prime. That's why we have to do manual intervention to adjust it to 20. The XA doing his trick again, reducing the size of the benchmark. Try to complete the benchmark because I'm pretty sure that if he managed to complete it, oh no, it oh, crashed. No. It crashed again. It crashed again. Sadly, the benchmark on Xtreme Addict's setup just crashed very close to the limit. You know, they're trying uh, very hard to push the last core in uh, in there. Yeah, and we have less than one minute to go, so it's, it's now and ever. And we got the blue screen, but he cut it out. <laughs> Even Christian A didn't see that one. It was too quick. Oh, there's another uh, one coming. There's another one coming. Blue! Seconds. Screen. Yeah, See, there's only 30, 30 seconds, seconds left in this final. This will be really rough before they get the setup booting and 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 properly inside the OS. Maybe load the profile to set the yeah the speed. It, it, I think. 20. I think it will be over. I think they will just shake hands. Or is XA going for a final run? Yeah, he still wants to do it. 10, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> SSD is too slow. Potato SSD. <laughs> 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 well, congrats to XA, man. Rock like, really insane display of performance. And also well done to Hazan, man, for facing up to the big guy. Woohoo! Victory torch. Really nice game to see and, and, and really, really, really close. Nice to see Hazan like take over like halfway and, and, and then XA fighting back. That's what we want to see. That's what we love to see during these extreme battles. Extreme Addict is the new champion of the HWBOT World Series 2016 here in Asia. That was impressive because three days ago he was fighting against Dan Cup and he did not make it. And Next day, he managed to qualify, he managed to go in the face-off, win that face-off. And then now he's back into his game, managed to pass the semi-final and then advance to this golden ticket to Germany. So we will see him again in Germany by the end of the year to compete into the HWBOT World Championship that will be held in around December in Germany at Case King. And you're already looking forward to the interview with XA because that guy can talk a lot. That will be interesting for everyone on the live chat as well to uh, ask the question to XA what he was uh, doing and how that was uh, going on for him. And the few, you know, that was that it started. It started quite fast, and then Adam catch up very quickly on him in the next uh, in the in the first uh, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they all run into some struggle and just manage to have some points. And at some point, Extrematic just post a huge good score before Azan is, uh, is taking over. So what do you think about the, the, the these two guys? Like, how did they perform here today on stage? Below average? Ah, oh, you didn't expect that answer, did you? Nah, <laughs> this is insane. This is like the, the yeah. These are the the top of the extreme. They're they're elite, in fact, boat benchers. And there's a reason why they're like up in the world ranking. It, it's they know it. They know what to do. They know the little tweaks. They know the fine tuning in the operating system. And yeah, they can squeeze out the the the, the final megahertz. What should be interesting is that they do like a rematch, and XA tries Hazan CPU, and to see if he can match maybe his his processor speed. He could do on the other one. Hazan was like lacking this time 50 megahertz, and there's almost no way that you can make up for it but so big cheer man for the polish guy well done hazan giving me like a fight not giving it all the guys on the left chat on will says gg extreme addict gg for this awesome match congratulations to you xa this is an impressive uh, display of skills um my dear league of, uh, let's take um no, a short analysis about what I saw. So what do you think about the temperature control um, about uh, Azan and XA? Because they, we saw them like pouring and torching, pouring and torching. Uh, what do you expect the temperature was on the CPU at this point? 
I think they were, they were both like running the minus 100-ish region, but we have heard as well that some CPUs are reluctant to boot into the OS if it's too cold. They don't have like this cold boot in, but they don't get properly in the OS, so you need to torch it sometimes just to be able to make in the operating system, then set the clocks, cool it down, and launch the benchmark at the right time, at the right temperature. And that's the thing that you will need to learn, and you need to figure it out. It's always different for each CPU. There's like 10 different CPUs that you can try and all will need different voltages, different temperatures, and, and will maybe react in, in, in a little different way. And that's all those things you need to find out in them futile 30 minutes. 30 minutes is really not a long time if you're like on stage performing and yeah, you get constantly like being put under pressure by your opponent. But that's the thing, you're so pushed to the limit, so you push the system to the limit, but you're being pushed to your limit as well. You need to, to withstand the stress, you need to withstand the preparation time, you need to withstand anything that can happen on the system during these 30 minutes. But if, if something breaks or something, you know, you have to restart the system. Every time you restart the system, you lose at least 30 seconds. By the time you get into the BIOS, change the BIOS, reboot the OS, and then get into the benchmark. Adjust the setting for the benchmark, run the benchmark. This is at least 30 seconds that you just lose every time you restart. That was very in interesting to see Asan actually building up on that. So he was at one stable system and just went a little bit more every time, like a little bit more and step by step he managed to achieve this awesome score that he had in the, in the end. Sadly, not enough to catch up on XA, but still a very impressive display of uh, you know, skills. They both are running in this business like for so long. Ever since I joined HWBot or competitive benchmark, if you want to call it like that, those guys have been there, always testing the the newest hardware and each time like also sharing tips and tweaks with the community. And that's that's what it's all about. It's about sharing and caring and and, and okay, they don't give away all the tweaks, but usually uh, everybody gets gets to learn them somehow, maybe legal or illegal, how you want to call it, via straight away. But yeah, impressive, impressive stuff. Impressive display of score and, spend, and skills in the benchmark by the two overclockers. Um, we will take a short break and come back with the debrief from XA as well as uh, to know who will won the raffle for one of these Zadak 511 SSD 250 gigs that will be dedicated. Uh, we'll uh, make them sign by uh, actually Extreme Addict at this point. Really, really limited edition then. Guys, until the next uh, segment, don't forget, keep pushing it. We will do 